everyone had this in the 50s. It's worth a fortune. It was a very different time in the 1950s, from the invention of TVs to the start of rock and roll music. It gave us some of our most famous things, like the first Levi's 501 pants and the famous Coca-Cola model. Kids today don't get to do some things that kids did in the 1950s, things they'll never really get. Let's look at some of these old and famous things to see how much they were worth back then and whether they're still worth enough to register on eBay. Yahtzee, made by Hasbro. Average cost, unknown. Estimated value today, $15. Yahtzee is a famous dice game that's been around since the 1950s. It was made by the ES Low Company. In 1973, the company was bought out and the game was made at Milton Bradley instead. However, the original form is still very famous. Another great thing about Yahtzee is that it's a popular game that people of all ages and backgrounds can enjoy. People still pay about 15 bucks for a set, which is a pretty great deal when you think that the game only has dice and a cup. Original Howdy Judy Doll Made by the Coleco Company Average cost $3.49 Estimated value today $23,000 Coleco made the famous Howdy Doody doll, which was a hit with kids in the 1950s. When it first came out, the puppet of everyone's favorite red-haired, freckled TV figure cost only $3.49, making it cheap fun item for the kids. The rare Howdy Doody doll can be bought for a lot more money these days. On the used market, they can fetch up to $400, and one that's still in its original box is a different horse. An original Howdy Doody doll that came from the workshop in 1995 sold for around $23,000. Ant Farms, made by Uncle Milton. Average cost, a buck. Estimated value today, $15 to $50. If you think ant farms are popular now, wait until you see how popular they were in the 1950s. In the 1950s, a small wooden frame with dirt sand and a few ants inside could be bought for just one or two bucks by kids. Aside from being a fun way to get kids to have pets, the ant farm was also a great place to see how ants build complex paths in their environment. Ant farms were and still are a fun and educational way for kids to spend hours before and after school while learning about bugs and nature. 1952 Mickey Mantle Baseball Card number 311 made by Tops. Average cost, a penny. Estimated value today, $5.2 million. This is the Mick. In his 18 years as a professional baseball player, Mickey Mantle only played for the New York Yankees, also known as the Bronx Bombers. Mantle was an all-star 20 times, which is the most ever. He won seven World Series titles with the great Yankee teams of the 1950s and 1960s. Tops 1952. Several things make the Mickey Mantle card important. 1952 was Mantle's first full season playing baseball, and it was also the first year that Topps made trading cards. Taking into account how few of these cards are still out there, Mantle's junior card might be worth more than his rookie card. The family's first television set, made by RCA, Magnavox, and Philco. Average cost, $250 to $500. Estimated value today, 50 bucks. A TV was one of the most sought-after pieces of technology in the 1950s. At the start of the decade, only the richest people in town could afford to buy one. More than one in ten American homes had a TV by the end of the 1950s, but it wasn't free. At the time, Magnavox, RCA, and Philco were the most famous names, and people were ready to pay up to $500 for the newest one unless they had $1,000 lying around, which is more than $12,000 now, families would watch their favorite shows in black and white, like Leave it to Beaver, I Love Lucy, and Howdy Doody. Conical Bras, made by Maidenform. Average cost $1 to $5. Estimated value today, $30 to $50. Women began to like a new style in the 1950s, the conical bra. People at the time liked to wear tight jackets and pencil skirts with this style. The conical bras were made to make a woman look curvier and give her an hourglass shape. 
They were often made of nylon or rayon and had straps that went around the shoulder. The cups were pointy. These bras were pretty pricey when they first came out. Each one could cost you up to 10 bucks, which was a lot of money back then. They became an important part of every woman's outfit and are still worn today. Waffle Iron Made by Sunbeam Average cost? Unknown Estimated value today? $30 In the 1950s, the waffle iron was an important part of breakfast. Not only did these food tools make tasty waffles, but they also did other things. You could use them to make French toast and pancakes. The old waffle irons were made of cast iron and had two halves that could be put together to make the waffles famous pattern. People still like to use waffle irons, even though they were invented a long time ago. A waffle iron is a great kitchen tool for people who want to feel like they're in the past. The original Mr. Potato Head, made by Hasbro. Average cost, a dollar. Estimated value today, 50 to $1,000. Mr. Potato Head was made in 1952 and was one of the first toys to be sold on TV. Still very popular with kids and people of all ages. The toy has a plastic potato and different face parts that can be put into the potato, such as eyes, cheeks, ears, hats, and glasses. The first Mr. Potato Head was sold for about a dollar in 1952, which is a small amount of what it costs now. However, $10 is still a fair price for a toy that makes people happy after more than 50 years. Robert the Robot, made by Lewis Marks and Company. Average cost, $3.95. Estimated value today, $50 to $100. Robert the Robot was a toy from the 1950s that most people today have never heard of. It was made by Lewis Marks and Company and is one of the most well-known toys of the 1990s. Robert was made of steel and came with many extras such as ray gun, rockets, and parts that could be switched out. It could talk, walk, and even change the way it moved. Robert the Robot was an amazing piece of tech for his time and kids all over the world loved it. Not only is Robert the Robot an interesting piece of history, but it's also a lasting reminder of youth hopes and happiness. Cat Eye Sunglasses, made by Ray-Ban. Average cost, $25 to $30. Estimated value today, $150 to $200. In the 1950s, Cat Eye Sunglasses were in style, and stars like Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn led the way. The sunglasses have a unique shape with an upswept angle near the temples that makes them stand out from the other round frames. Today, well-known brands like Ray-Ban, Revo, and Varnett still make different styles of cat eye look as a way to bring the past to a future that doesn't know what it's missing. But back in the 1950s, this style was seen as a bold fashion choice that few people dared to make. Original Hula Hoops, made by Whammo. Average cost, $250. Estimated value today, $25 to $175. The first hula hoops were made by Whammo in 1958. They quickly became a favorite toy among kids. Kids of all ages were excited to get one of these bright rings and follow the trend. Not just kids, though. Adults loved them a lot. A lot of high school and college students loved hula hoops. Their goal was to keep the hoop up for as long as possible as they took turns hula hooping. In the end, the game was also used as a way to work out. Hooping could strengthen the core and improve balance if done the right way. The hula hoop was and still is a fun and healthy way to enjoy life and meet new people. 1950s Lego sets, made by the Lego Group. Average cost $2 to $3 per 48 piece set. Estimated value today, $50 to $350. For more than 70 years, kids all over the world have played with LEGO, the famous building blocks. Since it was first made in 1949, LEGO has become one of the most famous toy brands ever. LEGO bits came in many sizes, shapes, and colors, so kids could use their minds to build anything they could think of. With LEGO, you can build anything from spaceships to castles to giant wizards to sports stadiums. LEGO is still one of the most loved toys in the world, no matter how much it costs. It's a standard piece that will always look good. Roy Rogers Lunchbox, made by Thermos. Average cost, $2. Estimated value today, $10 to $150. 
These bright metal boxes, which used to cost about $2 each, were a fun way for kids to bring lunch to school. Much better than a boring metal box or paper bag. The styles came from Roy Rogers, his horse Trigger, and other figures from the old TV show of the 1950s. You can get these old lunch boxes for anywhere from $10 to $150 these days. Many people who grew up in the 1950s or just like the show think they're cool collectibles. For people who grew up in the 1950s, a Roy Rogers brass thermos lunchbox would be a great present.